Hello friends, this is Prashant Tulasi and here with us is Vishal. So he is one of the followers for Bitspilani WLP program. So he has completed his first semester and this video is purely regarding the exam pattern, how the online exam is conducted. And this is the main question asked by most of the subscribers. So this video is for you. So now Vishal will give a short intro about him. And there are some of the points which I asked him to explain about. So he will explain it one by one. So Vishal, so you can take the video further. Hi friends, I am Vishal Raj from LNW Construction Private Limited. I thank uh, Mr. Prashant to give this uh, wonderful opportunity to, to talk about uh, Bits Pilani course uh, where I am studying as uh, MTech uh, Quality Management. Uh, why I have opted this WLP course is just because to move forward uh, of my career to the next level and for the immigration purposes also. Yeah, for sure I will recommend this course to my friends and my colleagues and even I have uh, opted uh, two of my friends to join this course and uh, even they have joined in this uh, semester. In my perspective, I would recommend this course uh, just because there isn't a work-life balance culture in this course. Uh, for example, if, uh, if you are not able to attend the live lectures in online, there isn't another opportunity for you to attend the lectures by offline. Due to the pandemic situation, now every exams are being conducted in online. If you see uh, exam point of view, there is a three pa three patterns of uh, bits per are uh, conducting these courses. One is easy one, one another is easy two and uh, another is easy three. Easy one is full of online, it's uh, kind of quizzes, but you have to choose uh, wisely and score wisely in that 15 marks. Then easy two is closed book, but Due to this COVID situation, even EC2 is an open uh, open book uh, and EC3 is also an open book. EC2 and EC3 are conducted for two and a half hours in online mode examinations. During online examination that is EC2 and EC3, there will be an invigilator from Bits Plani site uh, which is named as a proctor and they will be supervising your two and a half hours and you cannot able to do any malpractices. In my personal experience of online examination, the supervisor had told me to just switch off the lights because of the glare while writing my examination. So uh, what I am saying is there is an invigilator, you can't do any malpractices. So you should be aware of it during the examinations. During examination and uh, attending the live lectures, you need to have a good Wi-Fi connection. Uh, I suggest to have a Wi-Fi connection with a good speed of internet. Please don't go for the mobile hotspot for the examination time. I have a very bad experience during having a hotspot connection, which uh, while writing the examination, you will be coming out of that uh, tab and it will be a very, very worst case. You can't again log in. Uh, in this case, you have to redo a mail to Bitspilani and it's a very tedious process. Please have a Wi-Fi connection. The plus and minuses of uh, online examination. In my point of view, there is no minus in online examination because you need not to travel to one from one place to another place that be due to the COVID scenario. You can sit in one place wherever you are. Even if you're working, you can just ask two and a half hours permission and you can complete through your laptop and by clicking a submit option. In examination, there will be a eight set of questions. What I have faced was maximum was eight questions. It depends on your lecture as how much it will be. You can able to write the examinations in an A4 sheet paper or else you can uh, type it in space provided by the bits plani. And once you have written the answers in your paper, you can able to scan it through your mobile phone. So that what I'm going to say here is there's a good place so that you can use your mobile phones also nearby during uh, examination. Tips for scoring more marks. In my perspective, I will just suggest you to get full marks in quizzes and the assignments which are provided by the lecturers and bits plani. First EC1 will be the quiz so that you have to score full marks for the maximum. EC2 and EC3, how to score good marks. You just follow the lecture notes what's given by the lecturer or the professor who's handling your subjects. That is more than enough to score an average mark, which is I'm saying of 70 percentage. If you follow the lecture notes, it's more than enough to score 70 marks. For people who want to score more than 70 marks, it's your uh, individual talent uh, to go through the more books and authors prescribed by the lecturers. How to solve a good marks in the problematic uh, papers? It's a very good question by the subscribers. How to score it? It's a very tedious process. I know that. Just follow the lecture notes and lecture videos. This is the only key to score marks in the problematic papers because in the lecturers in the online or offline classes, 
they have solving the problem individually and explaining it clearly even though you can't able to understand from that please go through the youtube videos which is very convenient for you for one or two minutes this is the only way to clear the problematic papers as i said earlier even for the problematic papers try to get more and more marks in the quizzes and uh, assignments so that which will help you in ec2 and ec3 in problematic papers even question paper is tough for you in ec2 and ec3 this quiz will help you definitely is open book is convenient or a closed book convenient in my case i will say open book is convenient because i have written ec2 and ec3 as open book only i will just uh, suggest to prepare an index of uh, all the units you are covering by the lecturer so that it will be very easy while uh, preparing for the exams and while the questions are being shoot out from the online examination you can easily go through that uh, index prepared by yourself and easily you can go through it in during open book examinations in my point of valuation side from the bits pelani they expect the right answers due to it's an open book for ec2 and ec3 for a problematic paper of open book you have to know the formulas uh, in which page it is located or else it will be quite difficult to proceed forward in the problematic subjects like reliability and the quantitative methods where to find the previous year's question papers is a big question for me too while joining the courses when you join the course you can able to find this uh, previous year's question paper in this uh, moodle app uh, which is also called as taxi lab the bits plani will give you to access a two application softwares which can be used in mobile and in, even in pc also one is for live lecturers and another is for study materials and previous year question papers you can easily able to find these previous year question papers in these apps many of them have asked the what is make up exams and what is uh, regular exams as per our work commitments bits pilani has given us another chance of make up if you are not able to take up in a regular examinations but you have a work commitment you can able to switch to a uh, make up examination you can even ask i have opted for a uh, regular examination i can uh, go for make up uh, yeah while generation there will be a mail asking of the generation of your hall ticket in that case you can able to go for make up examination also but be sure that take examination at once in regular or in make up exam if you are unable to take the examination in these two you cannot able to clear the subject you have to repay the fees fully and you have to appear for that examination and even for uh, next semester you are going you have to go with four papers only not with five papers for each semester there are four subjects if you are reappeared in one of the subjects you have to pay the full term fees of that fifth subject if you guys missed out any one of the subjects it moves to the reappear stage where you have to pay a one semester fees completely many people have doubt of what if i get fail in bits plani in this course till now i have seen no one gets fail until one of the person has not uh, appearing for this examinations if you are not appearing for this examination you have to reappear for next semester by paying full semester fees so what i am saying is just don't miss the examinations at least take in regular or else in make up examination so friends so hope you like this video and uh, i am sure that vishal has shared more insights about this wlp program and his involvement into this course i had a very good session with mr prashant and i thank him to give this a wonderful opportunity to uh, let this out to our subscribers so that they will find easy access to join this course Thank you guys we'll see you in the next video yeah see you viewers bye bye preparing for the second semester you can only able to take up four subjects only so be sure that uh, to clear all the subjects hey you don't know something any what are it no and uh, for uh, my um, for uh, this one da varudhu ange appalu okay okay no worry for where you can easily uh, view the the, 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 the live recording <laughs> அப்புறம் <laughs> 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 <laughs>